Good morning to all the listeners of this medical blog. I'm Dr. Judy Klimaho. I am broadcasting from Zimbabwe City, Philippines. The biggest news in the Philippines now on health is the measles outbreak. The Department of Health has conflicting numbers of how many people have measles in the Manila area and how many measles they have in the provinces. Now, I'm a medical doctor and it interests or it's interesting to see how they or the government or others are playing this out. I think my own opinion is that missiles is not fatal in majority of cases because before the vaccine was invented only point one percent of people who develop missiles perished and when they studied those cases they died from vitamin A deficiency so if somebody has measles, if they give them vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin D, most likely they will not die. So I'm surprised to see that there were so many deaths. As of yesterday, there were supposed to be 55 deaths and 196 cases. That gives about 25 or 26 percent mortality rate, which is very high. And the solution to our so-called authorities was to give vaccination to everyone that they could catch. Now, if they give vaccination to everyone, it won't help them now. In the past, the measles wild type gave lifelong immunity. And if the patient was healthy and they got measles, they recovered from it with lifelong immunity. The measles vaccines, there were several types. One was withdrawn from the market. And then the others were continued up to now. The measles vaccine does not give lifelong immunity. In the United States, it used to be in 1973, persons 20 years of age or older accounted for 3% of the measles cases. And they gave immunization to everybody that they could catch. So by 1921, the number of measles cases in patients or in persons 20 years of older became 20, 48. So it seems that after they cut the immunizations, they cut the measles. So my advice to our health authorities is to study the matter and find out why a certain percentage or even a big percentage dying. Are they malnourished? Do they need vitamin A, E, C, and D? Same like dengue. Dengue is not a fatal illness if the patient is healthy, especially if your blood levels of vitamin C are optimal with vitamin D. So, maybe a company that makes the measles vaccine may make a lot of money with this field monger of our Department of Health. So, listeners, please do your own research on the measles vaccine. Thank you and thanks for listening. Please press the red button at the bottom of your screen if you can find it.